third night of racially charged arson, looting and vandalism gripped Minneapolis as protesters vented rage over the death of an unarmed black man after a white police officer knelt on his neck as he lay on the ground following arrest. The latest unrest in Minnesota's largest city went largely unchecked late Thursday, with the mayor ordering a tactical police retreat from a police station that was set ablaze. National Guard troops called out earlier in the day by the governor kept a low profile. Governor Tim Walz had ordered the Guard to help keep the peace after two previous nights of disturbances sparked by George Floyd's death on Monday. And I've asked the Attorney General, FBI, and the Attorney General to take a very strong look and to see what went on, because that was a very, very bad thing that I saw. I saw it last night, and I didn't like it. In a late-night Twitter message, President Donald Trump said he will send in National Guard troops to get the job done right if the weak mayor failed to restore order, suggesting lethal force might be needed. Let me say this. Weakness is refusing to take responsibility for your own actions. Weakness is pointing your finger at somebody else during a time of crisis. Donald Trump knows nothing about the strength of Minneapolis. We are strong as hell. Is this a difficult time period? Yes, but you better be damn sure that we're going to get through this. In contrast with Wednesday night, when rock-throwing demonstrators clashed with police in Riyadh gear, law enforcement in Minneapolis kept mostly out of sight around the epicenter of Thursday's disturbances, the third police station. Protesters massing outside the building briefly retreated under volleys of police tear gas and rubber bullets fired at them from the roof, only to regroup and eventually attack the building, setting fire to the structure as police withdrew.